Hello and welcome to Upfield Rectory. It's lovely to have you with us. Now I've got here today my halo and my angel wings that I use for the crib service because today we are celebrating the wonderful feast of St Michael and all the angels. These wings are looking really rather moth-eaten, the feathers are coming off. I think we're going to have to get some more uh, for our crib service this year, which we're hoping to do online. So watch this space towards Christmas. So let me begin by reading the special prayer for today, St. Michael and All Angels Day. Everlasting God, you have ordained and constituted the ministries of angels and mortals in a wonderful order. Grant that as your holy angels always serve you in heaven, so at your command they may help and defend us on earth. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. And so now the reading for St Michael and All Angels Day, which is from St John's Gospel. When Jesus saw Nathanael coming towards him, he said of him, Here is truly an Israelite in whom there is no deceit. Nathanael asked him, Where did you come to know me? Jesus answered, I saw you under the fig tree before Philip called you. Nathanael replied, Rabbi, you are the Son of God, you are the King of Israel. Jesus answered, Do you believe because I told you I saw you under the fig tree? You will see greater things than these. And he told him, Very truly, I tell you, you will see heaven opened and the angels of God ascending and descending upon the Son of Man. Now, in the Bible, there are lots and lots of angels all over the place in the Sophie. And you've got them in the Old Testament. You've got the wonderful story when Abraham encounters three angels under the oak of Mamre. And then in the New Testament, you've got lots of angels. You've got Gabriel coming and announcing the birth of Jesus to the Virgin Mary, the Annunciation. You've got the angels at the birth in Bethlehem when they come to the shepherds and you've got this great crowd of angels shouting glory to God in the highest and peace to his people on earth. And you've got later on, you've got the angel who comes to Jesus when he is terrified in the Garden of Gethsemane. You've got then the angels who are there after the resurrection when the disciples go to the tomb and they say he's not here. He's gone before you to Galilee. Angels are a hugely beautiful, I think, important part of the stories we have. The word angel, angelos, in Greek, um, actually means messenger. And the angels are God's messengers to us. And he keeps sending angels now in different forms through other people, through situations, through landscapes, to actually touch us, to uh, encounter us. It's the ways that we can encounter God. It's almost like being touched by an angel or an angel passing. And we, of course, are called to be angels to each other, messengers of God's love to one another. We are called to show care and love and the experience and the presence of God among us. We are there to be channels of that presence and channels of that love, to be messengers of God. But also, thinking of angels, there's the lovely idea of guardian angels. Jesus talks about children having guardian angels, and I think all of us have, in a sense, guardian angels, and it's a sense of God's love and presence enfolding us and keeping us safe. In these strange times, we are challenged to be God's messengers to a world that needs to know his love. But we are also comforted because God is with us and always will be. Amen. So let us pray. Most merciful and loving Lord, we ask for your protection for all people across the world who are fleeing from persecution famine and wars. Give them hope for a better future and endurance to carry them through their present troubles. We ask also for your protection for all those who are seeking freedom from unjust regimes, globally, 
but particularly that in Belarus. May they continue to find strength and determination to secure a fairer system for their fellow citizens. In Christ's name, Amen. Glorious Lord, as the threat of COVID-19 becomes greater, may your presence and guidance be felt by all leaders and decision makers across Europe and beyond, so that they are able to put in place measures to ensure our safety for the next six months with wisdom and fortitude. Give them steadiness of thought and action and support from the people they are responsible for. We pray for all scientists, lab workers and volunteers who continue to work around the clock to develop a successful vaccine so that we can regain some semblance of the lives we had before the epidemic. Enable them to have perseverance and patience and the understanding of friends and families to see them through these times. Merciful Father, accept these prayers. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen.